I'll just start this video by telling you that the developers of Hellblade 2 seem kind of sketchy as they didn't enable the FSR 3 frame generation on the game. Which doesn't really make sense because frame generation has been around for months and months and since they enabled FSR 3 with native AA and so on, why not enable frame generation as well? Even more since the frame generation on the Nvidia side is working perfectly, so once again, why not enable frame generation on this game? Gladly, I was able to mod the game using FSR 3 frame generation and it is working. As you can see, I'm using the XDX, but I'm running the power saving profile, uh, kind of locked to 2400 MHz and 290 watts, more or less, and look at the frames, 160 frames, 150 something, and as you can see, it is smooth. It says NVIDIA DLSS and frame generation activated in quality mode, and I can tell you that it says the LSS, but it, it is obviously using FSR3. And strangely, with this mod, we not only have frame generation enabled, as the upscaling quality gets better as well. Yes, you heard it right. The upscaling quality of the mod using FSR is better than the upscaling quality of the native implementation of FSR. And just before I show you how to do things, let's just lay an eye on today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! For as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer even if your hardware isn't prepared. And now with increased performance and reduced latency thanks to the bare metal technology. And believe me, I tested it and it runs very well. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. First of all, in order for the frame generation to work properly, you kind of need to disable the black bars if you are playing on a 16x9 monitor. I'm playing on a 21x9 monitor, so ultra-wide, so I don't have the black bars, but if you're playing on a 16x9 aspect ratio monitor, you need to disable the black bars and you need to disable also lens distortion and chromatic aberration, because if you have those two settings enabled, the frame generation mod won't work properly. Now, what you have to do is actually go to, well, you can actually press Windows R, it's easier, and that will lead you to the run, and then you just kind of press this, Local, a, uh, local app data, and you'll end up with this folder, which is basically your user, Fabio Pisco, app data, local, and so on. As soon as you, as you are on this, on this folder, sorry, I'm, well, I'm kind of tired. I, I, <laughs> you see this, you see this? I'm kind of tired. I'm, I'm making like the fourth video in 24 hours, which is insane for me, even for me, uh, or especially for me. Then you go to the Hellblade folder, Hellblade 2 folder, saved then you go to the configuration if i'm not mistaken no it's not the saved it's hellblade 2 folder yes saved configuration my bad windows and then you search for an engine file you open the file and then you go to the end of the file to the bottom and you have these options. But these options won't be in your file unless you modify it. So all you have to do, or what you have to do in this case, is copy this, that I, that I will leave in the, in the description obviously, copy these settings to your, uh, to, your engine, to your engine text file, just copy these, copy on your file, and after that just go press, file, save, bam. And this will disable these two will disable the black bars. This one disables the chromatic aberration and this one disables the lens distortion, which I believe uh, is the cause of FSR frame generation mod not working properly. If you're using ultra wide, for example, it will actually make the character bug and have some kind of flicker. Um, I mean, it's kind of odd. It's the same that happened with ultra wide monitors on Fort Solis, it's exactly the same. So by disabling lens distortion and chromatic aberration and these black bars, it makes the frame generation work. And for the second and last step, I'm using the Look FZ FSR3 mod. 
some of the files have been leaked because you actually have to be a supporter of Luke FZ in order to, to have access to the latest mods at least. But if you have one of the previous ones, I believe it will work. Especially if you have one of the previous Uniscaler versions, I believe it will work. In this case, if you have the original or if you want the original mod or the latest version of the mod, uh, you need to be a supporter of the Luke FZ Patreon. It's like five bucks a month. You can kind of just support it for one month download the mod and then stop supporting but i mean it is what it is the um, the look fz patreon mod will give you access to the discord this will give you access to the mods look fz etc and don't worry because uh this will only be <laughs> this will only be available even if you have the link you'll have to be a supporter of the east patreon page in order to access this so it's not an issue with me uh actually sharing the the links it's not an issue at all as you can see current patreon tier beta enjoyer latest version download go download common files save in the desktop download the uniscaler the same way save in the desktop and now you go to your help late to installation folder just go there in my case it's games and data games steam folder steam apps common senua saga hellblade 2 on this you go to the hellblade 2 folder binaries win 64 and then here you are then all you have to do is basically copy the files that you have here uniscaler this one is a different thing uniscaler bam copy then the other uniscaler bam then you go here and go to the common once again and copy the ones here stub nv ngx copy these two to the root folder once again to this folder in this case and click on the enable signature override then press yes bam this will enable kind of you using the the lss per se it's obviously using fsr fsr in the background but enabling um the lss in the game files and this is what you have to do in order to make it work perfectly so once again enable signature override you open the game one time and after that you can actually quit to the desktop because you now need to edit the files now you go to this file the uniscaler.config.toml open it ignore basically everything that you see here and go directly to the fake nvidia gpu true and then AMD and Real Engine DLSS workaround. True. Save it. Open the game. It will give you this warning telling you that you actually have an XTX and have the 24.5.1 drivers, but you require an NVIDIA driver version because, of course, we enabled the signature override and the options of the fake NVIDIA GPU. You press no to not open that. And the game is now working with the latest Uniscaler version. As you can see, NVIDIA DLSS once again enabled. As for the options, by the way, uh, in terms of overall gaming, I advise you to... Sorry about that. I advise you to use everything set to the maximum, but global illumination and volumetrics set to medium, because in terms of overall graphic difference, it doesn't make almost anything. And in terms of overall graphic performance, it does make the difference. Putting global illumination and volumetrics to medium helps the performance a lot, especially in lower tier CPUs, a lower tier GPU, sorry. And um, the difference is minimal. For example, global illumination. This, this is one of the best things that games can do, actually. Let you see the performance uh, in real time. So let me set to high. We're having 92 FPS. And we went from 92 to 84. And in terms of visuals, basically no difference and once again 93 fps from 84. as for the volumetrics it's exactly the same the volumetrics actually make even less difference in terms of, of visuals so once again high no difference whatsoever and we went down to 83 fps as soon as i go to medium basically no visual difference just a little here and there and we went back to 92 93 fps now, as for the, for you to see that I'm not lying, TSR, TSR, and we have 84, 85 FPS, 
and we do have a bit of shimmering there. Then we enable FSR 3, quality mode, 86, yeah, and for example, look at the look at the settings here. Look at the setting was here. You can see that it is shimmering a bit, which is quite normal, let's say for FSR. Okay, this is the official implementation in quality mode. Now let's enable the LSS, which is basically the FSR mod. Let's disable the frame generation and still use the quality mode. Now look at her hair. <laughs> it is better. It is better than the official FSR 3 implementation. And we're not even talking about frame generation. We're talking about upscaling. As soon as we enable the official FSR 3 implementation, yeah, we have way more shimmer in her hair. So it's already good that we, that we actually have an improved version of the upscaling on this card, as you can see, better. And at the same time, we have the ability to enable the frame generation. And we are now having 167 FPS. And as you can see, no artifacts whatsoever. The upscaling is better generally. We still have a, a bit of shimmering here and there, especially when moving. But we do have shimmering as well with the LSS, I know, because I tested several cards on the previous videos that you can see right now. Uh, several NVIDIA cards and we do still have uh, well better quality better quality than FSR but we still have shimmering here and there and as you can see working perfectly 158 160 just works great and even if you want to push and th that's one of the things that you can do here for example instead of using the quality mode since I have frame generation I can even manage to push let's say ultra quality which might be like 75%. And it looks even better now since I have a higher render resolution and I'm still pushing 140 FPS. And it still feels much better than playing without frame generation. So higher quality, higher smoothness, and overall, it's a win-win situation. I mean, there's nothing bad about the, this mod. You have higher FPS due to frame generation and you have higher upscaling quality because somehow the FSR 3 mod works better than the official implementation. Good job, developers. Good job. So concluding, all you need to do is go to the engine file, the, the text file that I showed you, and add those text lines to remove the lens distortion, chromatic aberration, and the black bars. As soon as you do that, the game will start, uh, will start looking way less blurred out because I believe that that's what the lens distortion and the chromatic aberration do most of the times in this title. They actually blur out the, um, the image. Without them, the, the image overall looks much sharper and the game much more enjoyable, in my opinion. As soon as you do that, then you enable and, and use the, the Look FZ frame generation mod, FSR3 frame generation mod. And although the base frames you'll have with this mod will be slightly lower because you are using the fake NVIDIA GPU, which lowers, for example, in that scenario, I usually had around, back there, I usually had around 100 FPS native. When enabling the fake GPU without any kind of frame generation and without the same TSR, I had around 92 FPS. So I lost, I lost a bit of FPS, but at the same time, I was able to enable the frame generation, make make the game look much better and fluid, and use the, the LSS to FSR3 upscaler, which actually delivers better image stability than the native implementation. Once again, very odd, very strange, but it is what it is. Overall, the game feels much smoother now. I am able to play it the way I want, and I believe that you guys would be, or will be happy with this as well, as you are now able to enjoy better stability, better overall quality, and at the same time, more FPS. Once again, it's a win-win situation. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know if the mod worked for you or not. Let me know if you were able to do it or not. And even if you can't use the frame generation mod, just go to the engine game settings and disable lens distortion, chromatic aberration and the black bars as the game will just feel much, much better and actually much sharper than it was before because like I told you, the lens distortion, especially the lens distortion, makes the game feel um, 
way blurred out, way more blurred out than it should ever be. And without it, it just looks much better overall, definitely. And with the FSR 3 frame generation mod, it looks even better and smoother. Damn, I'm glad these mods exist. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,